Hey guys, welcome to a new 100 second tutorial. Today we talk about the HSL Secondary, a tool by Lometri Color, which is, in my opinion, a really cool tool for creating effects and um, being more precise in color correction and color grading. So, let's go. So I already um, have my project right here and um, I also added a basic LUT to this footage. I will quickly show you that. Um, it's a part of a music video we shot on Crete. Um, it will come out in a few weeks, so be patient about it. And um, yeah, I would like to add an effect to it. It's quite a good look, I think. It's natural. But uh, with HSL Secondary, you can add crazy and very uh, um, interesting looks, okay? So how does it work? You can, first of all, create effects, but you can also have a precise way on how to color grade or do very precise changes in skin tones or um, different, different color spaces. And um, the basic workflow is that you select a color and um, HSL secondary will cut out all the other um, colors that are not similar to this tone of the color and then you have the possibility um, or the freedom to change that color and to manipulate it. Today I would like to create a pink um, sundown. Okay now it's quite orange a little bit of pink but mostly orange and um, first of all I will disable my adjustment layer, add a new one and put it between my adjustment layer of color grading and the basic look. Now I will select the color of the sundown, that's right here. And now you can um, select color gray. This will um, disable all the other colors that are not, um, um, that are not yeah, selected by you. And now you have the option first to L, that's Lumetri, um, Saturation and Hue, um, or Hue, to define a clear color space. So first of all, I will add some more of these. Get more of this to get the full sky. Also a little bit, this right here, that's already the C, okay? So just a little bit of that, but I would also have like to have some pink reflections on the C and um, yeah I would also I would always do it from L to H okay so first L then S then H and on hue you I'm actually not changing very much and now you have the possibility to um, click a color right there so this one is really for one color that changes the midtones. And um, if you disable the color gray and now change the color, you will directly see the impact of it. So now we changed our uh, pink. Please turn also um, on the color grading because then you see the whole result, okay? Um, I will not do too much about it, um, just a little bit. We also already created a lot. So now you have, because we see these unclear edges right there, where the image is really noisy, turn on denoise and turn on blur, okay? And this will add some smooth transitions to the sky and um, to the subject in front. And now you've created a pink looking sky. You can, of course, if you want, want to go really crazy you can push the limits of it and make it even more intense okay so really going around there or stuff clean the edges a little you can create really crazy looks with it this is of course too much but um, it's a great and creative tool to um, to be creative yeah with with color effects what you can also do with HSL secondary is of course to add skin tones. So when you have a skin tone that's slightly oversaturated, you can pull that down by um, yeah, adding temperature, tint, contrast, sharp or um, saturation. And that's also a really good tool to do because I can really, without 
adjusting the other saturation of the picture, I can uh, adjust the saturation of, of the sundown, okay? Um, you can also click on this tool and then you have full power over midtones, over the shadows and the highlights. You can even make the highlights a little bit lower or the midtones and also pick different color spaces, pick only the highlights, pick only the shadows, make them brighter, make them darker. So you have full control of your image and um, yeah, I think that's a great tool. Um, da Vinci has it also, other color programs have it too. And um, but I can definitely recommend it and recommend working with it. So hope you liked the video and see you in the next one. Bye.